Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Now your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of this journey, you still keep coming back. Manners and respect. If you're new right on over here, it's always a special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Now today we are going to be doing a little Jamaican dish. I'm going to be showing you how we as Jamaicans twist and turn and we call it turn we and make fashion and then it becomes such a lovely dish. I'm going to be doing for you today some callaloo and salt fish and also I know I said, and I have up that already. We're going to be adding some haki to this dish to make it, you know, I saw we do food with something. If you know about this dish as a Jamaican, if you are ever, or if you have ever done it, if you have ever eaten it, you can say something in the comment section. Now, if you can't get fresh callaloo, you might can try the one in the tin. I'm not so sure, I've never had it. And also, you can use the tin aki. But if that's what you can get, take it and make it your own, okay? I would suggest that, I think the ones in the tin, they come pre-cooked with water. But I think, I think you never need a water there. And all of that, you're going to drain off all of that. So you'll know how to do your thing, okay? So for this dish now, as I said, callaloo and salt fish, and then we're going to be putting in some haki. We are going to be using mostly herbs. You know I do that, scallions, chopped scallions. I have some red onions. If you have white, yellow, blue, pink, yellow, or orange, whatever you have, you use it. The color, the, this one will give it a little more flavor. This has a little more flavor. But if you have the regular ones, no problem. Whole heap of garlic. If you're using garlic powder, you'll know how to execute. A little garlic powder, a little onion powder, do your thing. I am onto herbs, so if you have herbs and you want to use it, use it, okay? I'll be using a little dried cilantro, a little basil, and also some black pepper. It needs this, okay? That is all I'll be using. So right on over here, I just see around things, you know. We have Jesse being pre-eated. And the first thing you know that we're going to put a whole heap of scallion. Because let me tell you something. The color look goes well with scallions and garlic. Okay? So I tell you, so may I bring me eat up the flame up some more. Now, you can put tomatoes. You know, once I keep in it, I don't want the tomatoes. So if you have tomatoes, you can put it in right now. I want you to follow as I go and to see how I'll be doing it. Okay? Some chopped garlic in right now. If you're not using garlic you can use garlic powder but you won't put in the garlic powder no you'd know when to put in the garlic powder okay so we're gonna leave this lots of scallions and lots of garlic because for me the garlic gives the color this superb this it just nice it just nice okay if you can't get color some people say they substitute spinach for color I never do in my book I don't think spinach would be substituted for my, could be substituted for callaloo in my book, okay? Because spinach has little or no flavor. It is nutritious and the texture is quite different from the callaloo. So in my book, spinach would be used for me to enhance a salad, for juicing, and I like that. Probably a little soup too, okay? Right now here, you can use some scotch bonnet pepper. You know, if you don't want to eat, you just leave the seeds out. But the scotch bonnet pepper, it enhances the flavor of the color. So right now, upon the I eat, and all of that, we are saute of this. Okay? Now, I'm going to be putting in my onions. Because we want everybody to go on with them thing together. Okay? So now that you have put in your onions, you want to cover your pot. Cover in your pot, and we'll soon come back, eh? Okay, now, right, let's open our pot, and all of that. So, you see, we have, you have to use a reasonable amount of oil, not too much, and all of that. So, at this point now, you realize that neither scallions nor garlic is burning. Now, right at this point, you're going to be putting in your callaloo. This is when you put in your callaloo. I hope you're all in on this. You'll see what I'm be, I'll be doing, okay? You put in your callaloo and make sure you don't have a bag of water going on this thing. You see me empty up my callaloo? Okay. Now that you have put in your callaloo, 
you want to put right on top here your fresh thyme. You're gonna lower your flame right now to about almost low. You're gonna leave that now to steam. You're steaming the callaloo. When the callaloo is halfway steamed, which means it will shrunk and come down to a smaller amount, with just the, the, the time on top, I will return and show you what we are going to do next. I must soon come. Okay, now we're going to look. When, when are we supposed to look, Miss Debbie? When you smell the callaloo. When you smell the callaloo, that is when you cook for about five minutes time. On the low, so you see what come out of it? Steam. So we, 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 um, this is the time on top. So you start to go now from the bottom and over. See there? And you have your nice little juices because the color look on me little steam to mix around with that little oil. Okay? So you know one the thing you can get it a little bit up now. Just a little bit, not a lot. Because remember this color is not properly cooked. Okay? Now let me tell you. Mince your color though. Don't chop chop it up tough and the stalk. Some people cut up the stalk and throw it out and just do the leaves. The stalk is the most nutritious part of a color look. So you want to cut them fine though they will cook quick it and the leaves and they will cook evenly okay and uh, i was about to say something i don't remember right now we are going to be putting in our salt fish why now because this remember we don't put any salt in our this salt fish we has it was in a little you know pickle tears salty tears we are put it inside of it now because look here we want this salt fish flavor to go salt out itself in the color low Look at this, and you're going to stir up. So look here, you see the amount of color to salt fish? You're still not, look at it, look at it. You notice you see color and salt fish? Wow, this is so, so pretty. This is so nice, family. These are some nice little dishes that when you get to, to know how to prepare them, you'll enjoy them. That is so pretty. Now at this stage, we'll be putting in our little cilantro and our little um, basil. This is the time if you're not use um, onions and scallion. This is the time if you're using onion powder and they must scallion powder, no, onion powder and garlic powder. This is where you would put it in, okay? So we're putting in here a little cilantro. These are my little herbs. We may put in for flavor up and all of that, okay? I don't want to taste too much cilantro, I call it low and salt fish and ackee, you know. This is a little base. These are just my thing okay now that we have done that you want to just get it all incorporated and all of that no water no water in this thing you know you want to put no water in there and when you look the color it boil down turn black and all of that no no water okay so make sure you give this thorough thorough stir make sure the aki I'm um, sorry, the salt fish is properly distributed in the color look. Camera girl, you're shooting them up? Shoot them up, camera girl. Bring them right up, make them see the salt fish well distributed within the color look. And we're gonna cover and allow this color look to finish the steaming process, okay? Then, and also to let the, 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 the salt fish uh, go right through and the color look absorb the salt fish flavor. Now I forget to tell you, this aki should be cooked, it's pre-cooked. I'm going to have to cook the aki for sure now, and all of that, because I don't know if do it, okay? Cook it and let it be properly drained up. What going to be night. Also, the callaloo should not be cooked. At, you know, the color. you see I did the callaloo. And also, I was going to say, I keep forgetting what I'm to say about the callaloo. I just can't remember. It just came to me and then I forget again, okay? So we're going to allow it to stay there and properly steam. When we return, the color should color should be properly steamed. We are gonna add the aki, show you how we deal with fried for we thing. We are gonna see how the finished product look. And I hope I remember. Oh yes, for you to prepare your color there is a video up there on the channel. It is thorough in depth. So if you're gonna try this dish and you get color fresh color and you're gonna say, Mr. Debbie, after I'm gonna know if you prepare it, we are gonna leave the link and how you prepare and shred your color in the description of this video. So you go do that. When we return, this color is supposed to be ready, you know. We're gonna show you the next move. So okay, now, we are right back. Right back. Now look at this. Okay, I'm really shooting them up on this little minimal steam. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. 
What do you want to do now? Our hockey was cooked with a little salt. Not a lot. Because if you don't cook the hockey with a little salt, you can't spit now but absorb the salt after. Our flame seems to want to go down a little. Now look at this. It is such a beauty. And family, if you smell the flavor of the color look and the salt fish only, if you have done this dish, then you will know coming right out. Now at this point, we are bringing your flame up, straight up at top, and we are going to dump with color. Look. Nobody put no color in there, no make it, make it color look like you know, the baby feed. No bother with that in a family. Don't bother with that. Now you are going to make sure you give a generous amount of this thing, which is black pepper. You want to put the grounded one like this, and if you want to put um all um grounded or um, grounded or this coarse one, you do it. Okay, now you have put a reasonable amount of black pepper, put on this spoon, take a fork up, and use the fork to mix the hacky wow in the color look. Take our flame down a bit. But sometimes in a family, you have got to understand yourself with this thing in the kitchen. Try to adjust yourself, try to, 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 to. even though I don't say some of the things, try it will come. Try to adjust yourself, try to in on what you're doing so you will know when to put your flame up, when to put your flame down. It's something that it will grow. You feel your way around these things, okay? So look at this now. This is it. And you see, the, the, you, have you seen the proportion? So as you go along now, and you see them little time here, and knock up themselves, because we don't really have no time for them like this now, you know. We're done with them. So they might knock up themselves. You say, oh Lord, Mr. Debbie, you put your hand in the Yes, you put your hand in the pot, because your pot real cooks, that's how we do it. We now have to look for the tongue and all of them, so they go out of tongue for Amazon to go take out the time out of pot. You get what I'm saying? You just take your little time out at this point. And still, it is saying to us that we need our flame to get back down almost to low, because we're going to leave it in there. But before we leave it, we have a taste for the salt perfection. Aye, God, the salt fish are supposed to eat enough the salt out, that's what me, I know. But sometimes it's not enough and we might have to add a little salt. Real cook. Put that food in there. Mm -hmm. No sir, we don't want no salt. Cook our God. Right down. Right down. Right down to the lowest that your stove can go to. The lowest. And you're going to leave it there. One minute, one and a half minute the most to let the aki absorb the color look and the salt fish flavor. That's just it. Let me tell you something. Can I tell you something? In a one, not more. And I'm not exaggerating. This is beautiful. The scotch bonnet pepper, the black pepper, oh my God, not now overpower in it. We soon come. Okay, now family, all plated up for you. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your Mother's Day breakfast table. It is halal and saltfish with haki. Please do enjoy. Let me tell you something. If you're not, if, if you're talking about you're not coming to Jamaica, you won't be able to get these things to eat, you know. What do I serve this with, Miss Debbie? For breakfast, you serve it with some. You can do it with some roast fried breadfruit. You can do it with some soft, nice, spongy, nice fried dumpling. You can do it with festival. You can have it with hard dough bread, boiled bananas, flour dumpling, caramel dumpling, plantain dumpling, rice and peas, white rice pasta you name it okay and please remember to make sure you try y'all don't know what is happening on the jamaican cooking journey you don't know because you're not some people are not sending me any pictures so you don't know the pictures are coming in from start to finish the videos are coming in showing when the food don't prepare how was him and in high shot and was man at I enjoy the Jamaican cooking journey recipes. You don't know. What are you waiting for? Why are you not sending me pictures? Please do enjoy. Remember to like the videos. Remember to make sure you're subscribed. Remember to make sure you leave some comments below for me. I am behind on my comments. And if you're new and think that I'm in um, ill-mannered and not replying, I am just behind because I had a lot on my plate. Still have a lot too, but I'm coming to your comments. I'm not ill-mannered. I always do answer them. Okay, so bear with me a little. I, I want to say thank you for your support. I want to say thank you for your love. I want to say thank you for the pictures, for the cooking pictures, for the cooking videos coming in. Different settings maybe, 
Um, so I'm saying that you don't know what is happening. Send me some pictures. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. And also I want to say our PayPal donation button is still there. Those of you who would like to make a donation to the Jamaican Cooking Journey will be thankful. And if you don't want to make it in cash and you want to make it in kind, we're still there. All our information is there. We welcome. We thank you so, so, so much. Remember to go support my son, Jer and Kim's channel. We would be grateful for your love. And also want to thank you for those of you who have left from right over here and gone right over there to support them. They are a little back on videos now, but I think they should be coming right back up now. So thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Camera girl, you want to say hello from behind the camera? Hi, guys. Okay. So once more, from our Jamaican kitchen to your kitchen, to wherever you are, it is just love, peace, joy, happiness. Debbie from Dongayal, bless, no stress.